So you've purchased a documentation platform to store your user generated content like onboarding, offboarding procedures, client notes, network diagrams, pictures, checklist. And this is what it looks like when you first log in. So when you make the connection to your PSA, sure, you can sync in your customers uh, into the documentation platform like IT Glue, but you're starting with a complete blank slate. So let me show you how Aurora is going to help you get a much better head start on getting those configuration details in there. So the documentation platforms like IT Glue are good for storing that user generated content. but They don't do a great job of helping you get those system generated content beyond your RMM. Now, your RMM, when it's pushing data directly into a documentation platform like IT Glue, those configurations are going to show up here, or you can also sync it with your PSA to pull in those details. But it's going to be a minimal level of detail because the PSA configurations can only handle a certain amount of data. And if you'll notice down here, there's this customized sidebar, right? So let's just see what it looks like, right? Out of the box with IT Glue's flexible assets that they provide you. So they give you these flexible asset types. I'm going to show you one of them right here. And let's just say it's for Active Directory. So you've got to go in here, modify this, figure out how you want to store things. But there's only a finite amount of details that you're going to be able to store in those flexible assets. And guess what? Somebody has to go input that data. Wouldn't it be nice if that data was automatically kept up? Well, that's what Roar does. So let's flip over to Roar and show you how easy it is to get started. So in Roar, when you sync your customers to Roar from your PSA, like ConnectWise or Autotask, it makes it easy. Then you simply go to IT Glue. We give you the steps to make the API connection. And then you simply map the orgs that you have in IT Glue to the companies that you've synced from your PSA into Roar. And then you simply decide which flexible assets you want to start leveraging. So what happens is, is when you enable this feature functionality with IT Glue, we automatically create these flexible asset templates for you so that you or your team members don't have to go do that. And we also give you visibility into any existing assets that you guys may put in there manually. Okay. And so what happens is, is now, I'm going to go in here to IT Glue and I'm going to customize the sidebar, right? So if I'm in account here, if I click on this customized sidebar, all I've got to do is make sure that all of the Roar assets that are uh, flexible assets that are created, those are moved over into this section or you can categorize them if you want. We put them all in a section called Roar, but you can call it whatever it is that you want and you save that selection. And then all you've got to do is when you're uh, in any of the companies, there's another customized sidebar uh, where you'll go in here and hit customize sidebar. And you just want to make sure that those are all shown whatever in, and shown in whatever order. You can drag and drop them in the order. You want to make sure that those are all uh, set up to show there. But if you don't want to show those on the sidebar, you don't have to, right? Those assets can also be show up as related items. So if when I click done here, you'll notice I've got a list of assets. So when Roar starts doing inspections for these specific systems for this customer, that data will start landing in here. So let me show you what that looks like when it's complete. Right. So I've got another one in here that we use for demo purposes called Contoso Nation. Contoso Nation has Internet Domain and DNS, TLS, SSL, Active Directory, servers, cloud productivity like Office 365, database, a SQL, antivirus, firewall, all those inspections that are running in Roar, all that data starts landing in here. So you don't have to depend on a team member of yours to get that done. And if there's any uh, you know, UI glitches or anything in IT Glue, all you got to do is simply hit a refresh and you'll see these things as tables. In the history, the timeline that we're keeping inside of Roar, that's also available right here. So every time Roar does an inspection, the data is up to date, but you can rewind back in time right there as well, or you can go to the most current uh, uh, setting as well. So take a look at the domain trackers and the SSL trackers that are default built in by IT Glue. They're nice, but they're very high level. What are they doing? They're doing a general who is lookup. And this isn't very good information to be helpful or useful for somebody that's a level one help desk employee, for instance. They may not know necessarily what an MX record is, an NS record or TXT record, right? And uh, so there's not much detail in here other than what you can get on your own and copy and paste in there if you want. Let's take a look at what Roar does on the internet domain and DNS inspection. So it's laid out in plain English what everything is, 
in tables so that you can see that. And every time Aurora does an inspection, all this data is kept up to date. Deep DNS records, including all those A records, NS records, and where they're pointed to as well. So there's no reason for you to delay starting uh, to leverage Roar when you are first getting started with line, uh, with uh, IT Glue or if you've already invested into IT Glue and you're already using flexible assets. If you are already using your own flexible assets, you don't have to uh, use uh, ours or show it up on the sidebar over here. You can simply link it as a related item to your existing flexible asset that is storing that user generated content that your users are manually putting in there. So um, if you have any questions, let us know. I wanted to make sure that you know how LionGuard can help you get more value out of the gate in your investment in IT Glue. Thanks for watching.